Oh, he didn't want to bite. I had to talk him into it. Sometimes you got to speak fish. Boy, we would done found him. That's a toad right there, y'all. Here's a lot of fish right here. We may have to come back and fish these. That's, that's a lot of suspended crappie right there. Another good crappie right there. Boom. Another good slab. <clears throat> What is happening, people? Hey, guys. First fish of the day. Boom. Yeah, nine and three quarter inch fish. Hey, guys. It is a 20, about the 22nd, 21st of January. It is cold out here, y'all. But it is the warmest day of the week. We hadn't fished in a while. Hey, we out here fishing these January crappy. Hey, guys, stay with us, and I'll show you how we do it. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, so <clears throat> here at the lake, the water's 47 degrees, 46, 47 degrees, and uh, right now, it's been two weeks, we're spending a little time riding around to see if we can locate a concentration of crab. Uh, so I just came out of a long cove off the main channel. It's probably where we're going to find these fish this time of year. Fish are scattered and they're up in the water column. We're going to check the main channel or the creek channels on deep banks, deep, deep sides, deep water we'll check. They'll suspend over that deep water. But they are more than likely back in these coves, the mouth of these long coves off the main channel. And right now I'm in the main channel cruising along about five miles per hour and I have my traditional 2D sonar on about 23 feet of water. And let me show you what we're looking for right here. So we're mainly looking for these individual uh, marks here. That's probably a crappy up there. There's some shad here. And that is probably a group of crappy there, more than likely. Um, so as we cruise along in a certain section, <clears throat> and we're coming up on another uh, pretty long cove off the main channel, I'm going to turn in that cove running my 2D sonar and just checking for crappy that are suspended. Boy, we would done found them. Look at the crap. Good gracious of life. Now guys, now guys, we sniping these crappy out here today. And uh, I'm just taking that live scanner and scanning. Like we got fish out there at 20 feet. And this is a this is a 11 foot ACC crappy stick. Uh, gives me a little more le leverage, uh, so you're just gonna pitch out to these fish right here. Get the lure down to him. from that. Can't drop on them too fast, y'all. They will go away from here. Got him. That's a better fish here, y'all. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good one. That's a good fish. Good 11 and a half inch fish. So I've changed baits. So I'm fishing in an area that gets a lot of pressure. So we got a new bait on and that's called the sub. See, it reminds me of a shrimp, y'all. But see how short it is? It's about an inch and a half long. I've got it topped with a red head. That is a uh, 32nd, but that's called a sub and that is in the banana pepper. 
And as you notice, banana pepper is good color in this water right here. So these are new baits that we're using. Many times if you got new baits in an area where they've seen a lot of baits, something subtle and different, hey, puts fish in the boat. All right, I didn't get this on film. I thought the GoPro was on, but it won't. But another good crappy right there. Boom. Another good slab. <clears throat> this is a different bait. It's called the grub. See, it has a little bit of a fork tail there. And it's got a good, it's got a great body shape on it. And it looks like, I mean, it is the shape of a minnow and it is an inch and a half long too. That's mealtime color there. And one thing I'm getting ready to do, I'm getting ready to change this. I'm gonna change this hook size to a six. I've lost a couple of fish. I ain't got good hooks on them. So I'm gonna change this. So I'll be back in a minute. And while we change that, if you don't mind, you can click that like button below, hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. It really helps my channel and I really appreciate it. All right, I changed my method just a little bit. So I'm still fishing that flathead metal meal time, but I put a number six hook on with an orange head. Kind of makes it show up in this muddy water. That's a good fish right there, y'all. Good fish. And I also changed uh, to my St. Croix rod. <clears throat> a little bit easier. That other rod was 11 foot. And getting a little breezy, my boat blows around quickly. so. A little easy to take this six and a half foot rod, pitch out there, and if I miss the fish, I can get it back in quick and make another accurate cast. Now I have casted at several fish and they didn't even move. They didn't even look at the lure. And some are like, hey, that's mine. I'm coming to get it. So I got a couple of other colors that uh, this water is dingy, but it's not muddy. So I'm staying with a shad color uh, bait and just to see how that does. Hey, let's catch another fish, y'all. That's a good fish there. See, he's down about 12 feet. Gonna pitch out. There goes the lures. Boom, got it. I'd say that's a good one. Go boom. Changed over to my 10 foot rod. I've been just trying different methods. I'm a little more accurate with this 10 foot rod pitching out to these fish. Uh, Grenada bug is a color. Hard not to fish that Grenada bug in this color, but that is a good crappy, y'all. Grenada bug is a good color, I will say. If you don't have creamy, <clears throat> I apologize. I'm fishing creamy. If you fish dirty water, you need to go online to Lake Country Baits and buy you creamy and Grenada bug. They won't let you go hungry. Ah, that's a pretty good one right there. Oh, he didn't want to bite. I had to talk him into it. Sometimes you gotta speak fish. You gotta learn how to talk to the fish. That's a good one right there. Mm, don't tell nobody. Grenada bug. That creamy. That's a tough color. Yes, sir. That is a good crappy right there. Go boom. All 
right there he is there he's at 12 feet we got a good lock in him we're gonna pitch out there to him a little bit short so we're gonna do it again a little short and we want to lower that bait we want to lower that bait kind of down you see he come up to that bait see how he came up to that bait he was actually going after the hair jig and he turned back off of it so there's another one at five he's a little deeper he's at 10 feet we'll drop straight in on him and just see how he reacts i always like to be just past him so that's a good drop right there see how that's dropping and i'm gonna slow it down i'm lowering the rod I get right to him and I'm gonna pick up on the lure just a little bit. So he's actually following that lure. He hadn't decided whether he wants it or not. unsure about it. Boys, that fish was three foot deep. He was right on top. Pitched it over that, drug it over his head. He reacted good. Ah, uh, boom. Nice crappy right there. Boy, that joker thinks he's wild. Now, I'll show you a deadly combination. Sometimes in the winter, <clears throat> I'll run that double rig jig and I'll put a hair jig on the top and I'll put a rubber jig on the bottom. Boom. Give them a choice. switching up colors today just trying different colors that's the LC shad <clears throat> in the uh, ice color with that head they got that hair jig on it remember combination hair jig on the top regular jig on the bottom that is a good quality crappy right there guys all in all today has been a good day of fishing uh, <clears throat> fish have reacted pretty pretty darn good and uh, water's warmed up just a little bit from all that rain we've had. So primarily we've been spotting, stalking. You've seen a little bit of the live scope footage uh, that we put out there. And I uh, used a combination, I've cast it to the fish. I found I could put my 10 foot rod on and pitch out to them a little bit faster, get the lure down to them, drag it by them. Sometimes they wouldn't even look at the lure. Sometimes they reacted real good. And remember, just because it's January don't mean you can't catch any fish. You remember, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Don't forget to hit the like button. Click the notification bell. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Share this channel. We'd really appreciate it. And you remember, it's a wild life. And I'll see you on the water.